Hey everybody, you know what time it is. It's my favorite day of the week, New Comic Wednesday. It's June 17th, 2020. I'm your host, Tony Varela. This is my co-host, my man in the chair, Yogi Yogs, and you're watching Comic TV. So without any further ado, let's get started with today's comics. But before we do that, there was a comic I finished up with last week, and that was Lady Death uh, Decimation. And this, the Jewel Swarovski cover, really did not show up as good as I'd liked in the camera, so I wanna give it a little, a little doo 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 so you can see these Swarovski, Swarovski crystals gleaming in her choker and her, her bra and garter belt. Super sexy, I absolutely love this issue. So I hope you got a good gaze at that. And if not, you can check out my Instagram as well. I got a nice pic on there that really shows it, uh, uh, a picture that does it justice. So starting out today from a blaze, we got Unsacred number six. And the writing, the cover art, and the uh, art interiors is done by Mirka Andolfo. She also did last week's Deadpool cover as well. She's been out and about doing a lot of things. Mirka is very unpopular with her new Mercy title as well. This book is really nice. It usually uh, involves the sexual frustration of this character Damiano, this devil that's marrying an angel. And uh, really nice, cute, cheeky humor, kind of sexy, but not too crazy. Uh, definitely like that book. Next up from Boom Studios, we got a new title from James Tinian called Wind or Wind. I'm not sure how I'm supposed to pronounce it. That's issue number one. Uh, the art and cover art is done by Michael Dialatis. Dial and uh, there is a Merca and Dolfo final order cutoff as well, as well as a 1 in 25 variant. If you can get your hands on that for cheap, they are selling for premium prices. Next up, this is a collabo between Boom Studios and IDW. We got Mighty Morphin Power Rangers and Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. And this is going to be the first appearance of the Turtle Megazord. We got Ryan Parrott doing the writing on this and Simone DeMaio doing the art. And this is the Final Order Cutoff Mike Del Mundo cover. I'm specking on this title to get this uh, cover to get real hot. Next up from Dynamite. This title has so many hot covers today. Not normally a title I would buy multiple covers of, but oh, you're gonna see, there are just some awesome covers on this. Before we get started, uh, Red Sonia Age of Chaos number four, it's written by Eric Burnham. We got Jonathan Lau doing the art inside. That is the Lucio Perillo cover, A eh? Super sexy, and oh my God, look at this one. Ooh-wee, that is the Derek Chu cover B, and oh my goodness, hide your kids, hide your wife. Seriously, hide your kids, hide your wife, because this was a lot. Oh my goodness, that is the 1 in 10 incentive Kunkka variant. And ooh, 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 that's a nice one. Really loving that title. And uh, speaking of Peach Momoko, this is the Crow Lathe number two from IDW. Now this is written by Tim Seeley. We got Ilias Kiriazis doing the art inside and that is the Peach Momoko cover B. Now I've been talking about this title. I absolutely love this title. The art's great, the story is fantastic. Man, this book really keeps it moving. I love the original Hardcore and this Hardcore Re Reloaded is just as good. This is issue number five and it's written by Brandon Thomas. And we got Brian Studler doing the writing, uh, excuse me, we've got uh, Francis Portella doing the art on that and that is a Nick Klein cover. Really like that one. Next up, this is strictly a cover by but obviously you can see why I bought it. That's a J. Anacleto cover. Red Agent, Island of Dr. Moreau, number five. Uh, that is written by Brian Studler. We got Jason uh, Moore doing the art on that. I'm not sure if I butchered that name or not. I hope not. So that's it from Xenoscope. Uh, we got DC coming up next. No titles out for Marvel today, which is weird because they're the big boy on the block. DC is the one that changed distributors, so I hope uh, that they do to Diamond what Yellow Cat or what Uber did to Yellow Cat because Diamond's been uh, doing a terrible job for a long time so DC had had enough so they're going with two different distributors now to handle their comics, trade paperbacks, and uh, uh, toys and whatnot. So I'm happy about that. I hope it works out because I have been ready for a switch for a while. So we got Dark Knight's Metal number one. It's written by Scott Snyder, of course. Art inside, uh, not much better than Greg, Greg Capullo out there. This is the black blank cover, which I can't wait to get a sketch cover done of this book. And uh, oh, next up, 
we got the black and white midnight party variant. And if that wasn't enough party for you, oh man, wait till you see this one. Doug Mankey giving us a one in 25 of Batman shredding the lead guitar on that. Ooh, we love that cover. Got it for 10 bucks. I never thought I'd get a one in 25 straight from the comic shop at that price. I had already ordered one eBay for $15. I never thought I'd get it cheaper than that, but I got that one for 10, so. Oh well, good deal's a good deal. Wonder Woman 757, Steve Orlando's doing the writing on this. We got Jesus Marino doing the art. Uh, not loving the art in this title, it's very, it's actually like Xenoscope, Xenoscope quality, but uh, that Oliver Copiel cover is super dope. Absolutely love that. So uh, next up, a few books that I got in the mail. You know I love me some Jenny Friesen, and I had never seen this title before. It's a Spitfire one-shot women of marble cover and that was pretty sexy some nice jenny freeze and i'm always uh surprised when i see some jenny freeze and i haven't seen before because i buy it just about every time i see it so next up so whenever uh the spider-man movie came out there was a lot of speculation on who was going to be the main villain in that title and they had talked about hydro man being the main villain some other people had said the uh hydron uh one of the uh characters from the living mummy I think they called them the elementals was going to be the main character and it actually turned out to be neither one so this book isn't as hot as it once was but it is the first appearance of hydro man and that's amazing spider-man 212 and I was able to snipe that on the eBay got it for just over 20 bucks and I don't know if I got it so cheap they just wanted to mess with me on the shipping but it came in a box like this which is already crazy and then when I opened it up inside they got they got it wrapped up in newspaper inside of just terrible, just absolutely terrible. So uh, anyway, last week I told you that I had that one in 25 Batman 92 on the way and uh, woo, here it is, Jorge Jimenez, baby. That thing's going for about 60 bucks right now and that is the uh, first appearance of the Underbroker. It's also Punchline's first appearance and we also got the first Throwdown between Harley Quinn and Punchline, and I can't wait till 93 because it was just getting started when that book ended. So uh, I'm not just getting started, I'm finishing up, and I also want to show you those other two uh, covers. We got Yasmin Putri, we got Art Germany, you already saw those last week, but I'm going to finish it up. Before, you, uh, before I go, please look down, hit that like button and subscribe. Every time you like my video, that affects the algor algorithm and uh, means my videos get recommended more. If you're watching it on TV, see those three little dots over there? Hit those three little dots and then you'll find your little like button. Hit that for me, I would sure appreciate it. Thanks for watching Comic TV. Remember to join me every Wednesday for all the hottest comics and variant covers. And if you hit that subscribe button, you'll be notified as soon as I put up a video. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.